Hi there, this is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to calculate independent probability. So, here we have a bucket full of balls and a deck of cards. Well, part of a deck of cards, but we can imagine it's a deck of cards. And what we want to know, for example, is what is the probability of drawing a blue ball followed by the drawing of an ace, for example, in that order. Well, these two events are completely independent. The drawing of a particular ball from this bucket will have no bearing whatsoever on the card that is drawn from the deck. So, computing the probability of these two events happening is very simple. It's just the probability of one, in this case, probability of blue times the probability of the other. And that's all there is to it. Here we can go ahead and compute this. See we have five blue balls out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten total times four aces in a deck out of 52 cards total gives us a probability of 20 over 520. If the events were dependent in any way, for example, if we were drawing two balls from this bucket with replacement, or rather without replacement, then it would be a little bit trickier to calculate the probability. But since they're completely independent, all we need to do is calculate the two probabilities on their own, multiply them together, and then we're done. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed how to calculate independent probability. 